welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over how to drive street stocks at Southern National. Um, I did one lap just out of the pits for qualifying, so we'll show that lap. And then we'll uh, go into maybe it's the second lap that's going to be the fastest. So we'll just work through that. I'll just uh, run you through how I did this. We'll just watch the lap first, right, right as it is. So I'm not doing any kind of tire warming or braking, no nothing. We're just straight out onto the track. Then we're gonna light braking right here. Light braking just to rotate the back of the car. Back on the throttle. Light braking again. Back on the throttle. Alright, so you can see down here, you can see, if you watch the uh, throttle area, we we'll run it back. Alright, let's back it back down. Take that away. All right, just focus down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. So you can see the throttle and brake inputs. The like five percent braking, just to get it down to the bottom. You want to be on the bottom here. The lap was a 15.175. Now we'll go out and we'll do uh, like the first lap, we'll just use to heat the tires up. Second lap, we'll run a lap and see how it turns out. And now you can see the uh, throttle and brake inputs a little better. That lap was solely just to get heat in the tires. So you're wasting a lap there. All right, let's see how we ran that time. We didn't tab it. Spotter didn't say anything though. So 175 on the lap where we didn't heat the tires. So I would say first lap out, probably gonna be better. That's how I would qualify this car and that's 10 to 1's all I've changed. I left the brake balance at 50. Of course, I think the later the run goes on, you're going to have to back this out. But we'll go out and we'll just do a 40 lap run. This is in the uh, official time of day, uh, the date that was set. And then we have 50% uh, track usage. Uh, set up the server. I will just go out. We're running 50 laps with so 10 to 1, starting the brakes at 50. Or did the 40 lap run? And we'll start it like we're going to start a race. I don't know what the pace speed is in this. I'm going to guess. But then most of the time, people start in third in these cars. Just pretend that there's a car on the outside of us just for first corner.
we're just we're running it as hard as we can run it. Let's see what it'll do over a 40 lap run. I just want to keep it glued to the bottom in the corners. Or anything up off the bottom, gonna put a lot more wear and tire on the right front. But at the beginning of the race, if you can't clear the dude in one lap on the outside, figure out how to get in. I will say if you use too much brake, you're gonna probably spin out. this series was open setup I think it'd be a lot more fun but they don't drop bad for fixed setup cars they're really not bad at all whoever's building them is doing a good enough job that it makes it entertaining to drive instead of it being a plow truck Too much brake, got a little loose on entry. This track alone, I've won a bunch of street stock races at, a bunch of late models and super late model races this year. It's one of my favorite tracks for a long time. Interesting to see the uh, lap times. I'm not sure if this thing actually gets faster with the fuel burning off. streeters is surviving the first lap and then surviving the lap traffic because you're definitely going to be lapping people if you figure out how to drop fast look right there so we're going to take a little brake bias. Put it back. Put a little more to the rear. Gonna help us rotate the center. That we only did one click so far. quickly as you can to keep your car rotating on the bottom. I know 
said the Bricky Streeters has a huge following, so I figured I'd do some guides on how I would drive each one of these tracks if I went back to Rookie Streeters. back on the throttle before middle of the corner. I try to use as much of the exit as I can without plowing the wall down. to reconfigure my steering wheel when I logged in. It doesn't have my button to move my black box. It's hard to keep counting your head. The car still seems to be driving fine though. Even this late into a run. Still staying on the bottom. We're not. We're not giving up that bottom. Right there, we missed the bottom by a little bit, so we had a late exit. some of the wear. Let's say for a little bit. Should be at our 40 here. Don't bother the last two laps. Should be close. We'll have to see. That's how I would run this. Let's see where we're at on laps. 13. Ah, we needed like one more hard lap, but let's see where we're at on tires. 86, 86. See? I mean, you really can't ask for better than that on a run to have them equal 
And all we did, literally, 10 to 1, you can see we backed off two clicks, I think. Nope, just one click of break by us during the race. That's all we backed off. But we'll break down, uh, we'll break down the run more in editing to kind of show you guys a little more. We'll hit a lap in slow-mo, that way you can see exactly where I'm breaking, getting back on the throttle. But let's see, we started 15-2, really we ended in the 15-6s, because that lap was washed out. This is the weather that we're in right now. We might try a hotter session to um, give you a little bit of a lap reference if it's hotter. But if you uh, like the little guide, smash the subscribe button, throw a like on the video, comment, let us know what you're doing. If you're faster, you know, like, I always want to know if people are faster or how, what they're doing different than what we're doing. Love the new Monte Carlo. Love it. Let me know what you're driving. If you're Monte Carlo, Ford, or are you still in the Camaro? But as always, we'll catch you in the next one.